morning, guys. NCS Fan 001 here, welcoming you to the road to my 287th Platinum Trophy. Today's game is Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. Uh, as you can see already, this is the last Sly game I needed to do on the PS3. I still need to do it for the Vita eventually. I don't know exactly when, though. So, uh, as for many of the Sly games, this one is not overly difficult, but I would say this is probably the most difficult in the Sly franchise. Uh, Sly 4 may give some people more problems, but overall I would say that this is the hardest one. So as you can see, I completed this trophy about three years ago, and that was because I had the Sly minigames uh, rented on Gamefly, or not Sly minigames, uh, the Sly collection rented on Gamefly, so you have to play the first mission of each game to do the all the minigames for the Sly minigames 100%. And since I had just finished Sly 1, I didn't feel like doing another one of these right at the same time. So I waited like three years to get around to play it. So this game, about 80% of your trophies are going to come from simply completing the game. And then you have a, you'll have you have a few trophies as well for buying certain items like the alarm clock. Uh, collecting 500 coins is pretty much guaranteed. But uh, you're pretty much going to get about 80% of your trophies just for completing the story. And you have to buy a few items, but most of them aren't too bad. Like they're a little bit expensive, but... You make a lot of money when you're doing the Assassin's Creed 4 style uh, pirate ship battles in the fifth area, which is really, really fun. Like, this game has a lot of really fun mechanics to it overall. Uh, you do need to have, I believe it's down here somewhere. Yeah, you need to have 2,500 coins on you at any one given time. So make sure to do that before you start buying any of the non-story-related uh, power-ups. You'll have to buy a couple to progress through the story, but that's about it. And then you'll just have to purchase other items like the Diablo Fire Slam, the Hover Pack, uh, all the Sly Spin Attacks and Jump Attacks. Now, the hardest trophy in the game, for sure, is to 100% complete the game. Now, this is going to require you to do only two things. Complete each uh, episode, like all the jobs in each episode, which you'll get, which is story progress, and complete all the challenges, of which there are anywhere from like four to nine challenges per level. And some of these challenges are really, really difficult. Like some of them will take many tries, potentially like up to an hour to do, because they are just either difficult or really buggy. Uh, some of the most infamous challenges are the two General Sal fighting ones in the fourth area, those are both really, really obnoxious because they're kind of glitchy and they have really weird mechanics to them and they can just be kind of annoying. Because with most of the challenges, they will, they're basically just parts of the base game, except they add in some kind of modifier, like giving you half health or a time limit are the two most common ones. Sometimes a couple other rules may come in. Uh, the Ultimate Gauntlet is where a lot of people struggle, but honestly, I didn't have any issues with it aside from its glitchiness. I beat it on my second try, so that one didn't give me a whole lot of trouble, and a couple of the other fights can be a little tricky, but overall, it's not its not as bad as I was really expecting it to be. We'll put it that way. Like I was expecting the challenges to be a lot more painful than they were, but they didn't end up being overly difficult, so... Overall, I would probably put this game at around a 3.5 out of 10 in terms of its difficulty and like close to 20 hours. It is a bit of a longer Sly game to Platinum compared to like the first two games, but it's still not overly difficult. It's not overly time consuming. And like I said, I think it's one of the most fun games in the franchise. So with that, level 54, 56%, 13,441 total trophies. 287 Platinums, 1,520 Golds, 3,381 Silvers, 8,253 Bronzes. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't know when I'm going to do the PS Vita version of the game. I don't really want to do it anytime soon, just because that one did have some an annoying challenges and stuff. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you for the next one.